New tonight, a Central Kentucky man is sharing his story of survival in honor of Asian American Heritage Month. As Daniel Misko explains, he and his Cambodian family escaped genocide in hopes of finding new opportunities here in the bluegrass. Lavish Nails is a familiar spot to many. Inside is a glitz and glam style salon that offers manicures, pedicures, and more. But behind this business is a story of one family's survival. Growing up, uh, my parents were uh, part of the diplomatic community uh, in Cambodia. Um, during the Khmer Rouge, unfortunately, my parents had to flee Cambodia uh, because there was a lot of mass genocide happening. The genocide known as Khmer Rouge took place in the late 70s, and the Communist Party of Kampuchea claimed two million lives. But Vassal Hang, owner and partner of Lavish Nails, was fortunate enough to escape to America. It was 2001 when they immigrated here to Kentucky. I was actually born in Cambodia, uh, raised in Seattle, Washington, and then we moved here because my mom uh, actually got a position as a nail tech here in Kentucky. Um, and then I grew up doing nails as well. Hang's parents opened a nail salon in Lexington, and it was his first job as he put himself through pharmacy school. I needed to find something that I could do that would pay for college as well as being able to go to school. Um, and in the nail industry, once you get your license, you can work kind of as is. As Hang polished his skills, he realized pharmacy wasn't his passion. It was the art of nails. Uh, my family kind of built up a, um, a design scheme of the world in nails. Uh, so anything from solid designs to crystals to in encapsulations of the nails. And within the last two years, his business has grown into multiple locations. Um, and then I met my partner, Anna, and we kind of we grew lavish nails together. This is our primary location. Uh, we have a location in Georgetown, Kentucky, and then one on Nicholasville Road in Nashville as well. And Hang says his business's success is because they put quality over quantity. And they care about you, um, not just um, doing nails. They talk to you about, like, your feelings. Um, I find a lot of peace, joy, and happiness. As long as you're providing a quality service and something that a client can be happy and feel good about themselves when they walk out the door, the clientele will come to you. In Lexington, Danielle Miskol. I'm from Alcone and Alcone, the main chunchit book my year. Tell me I hang the volley can jangle. Check some Fox 56 News. <laughs>